Hello, and welcome to Food and Religion, the role of food in the Last Supper. Here we have a picture of, of the Last Supper. The Last Supper was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Um, it's a tempura on stone painting rather than a fresco painting. It's 15 by 29 feet in dimensions. It was completed in 1498. It was commissioned by the Duke of Milan for a Dominican monastery, and it... It's a painting that shows Jesus telling the disciples, his disciples, that one of them will betray him. So, in this video, I aim to uh, explore how the food, how the food is more, how the food changes, can change the overall meaning of the painting, like the if there's more or less, and then how the type of food changes the overall meaning of the the painting so if I put commercialized food or um, fast food in the painting does it make it less religious or more religious or does it not change at all should it have no um, effect on the painting because the, the content is in the Jesus telling the disciples that one of them will be betray one of them will betray him does not change even though the food does um, so I thought the best way to uh, examine these two questions and try and answer them would be to look at a recreation in which the food is exaggerated. There's so much food that it's covering some of the disciples. It's stacked up on top of each other and some of them are heavily uh, branded and um, have logos on them. And rather than homemade or um, minimalist foods, it's fast food. So here's the original, and I'll pull up the recreation. So here's the recreation. It shows some of the disciples and then Jesus in the middle. And then it has the obnoxious amount of food. So, one of the key differences in these, besides that it's different food, is that the food is not minimalist. It's, a, it's an obnoxious amount, so much that it becomes the main subject of the painting, and Jesus and his disciples become part of the background. So, my first question, that the amount of food, does that change the... Um, how religious it is the the painting in this one i don't think the amount of food changes the religious how religious the painting is or the sacredness of it as much as the type of food does so in this it's no longer minimalist there's this contrast between the minimalist background and the gluttonous uh subject but i don't think that changes how religious the painting is whereas the type of food does the type of food all the foods are 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 centered around a logo they jump out their bright colors they're they're just made they show the brand and um so and they're not minimal they're not minimalist so I think that changes the how religious the painting is because it's no longer um, about the act of Jesus telling the disciples that one of them will betray him because it's it's your eye goes to all the all the words and it it just taints it because. You start to think about all these all these brands and what maybe they mean to you or the commercials they're in 